we realized it was popular the very first time it was nominated for an Emmy in its first season, which is the elusive thing. You know, the Emmy was really elusive. I mean, when you worked in television, in the time I worked in television, that was it. I mean, if you got an Emmy, that meant something really special. And uh, the very first season, it was I was on the phone with Darren, and they were announcing them, and it was nominated for an Emmy. And I remember it was we were watching E, and the girl on the show, the host, said she's hoping for her show Sex in the City, and the two co-hosts were like, "What are you talking about? That will never happen." And it was. It was nominated. And uh, so I thought that's when it was the beginning of the industry awareness. But then we had to work for it always. I mean, they didn't give Sarah Jessica her best actress Emmy to the last year. They made her work. They made us work. Cable. Cable had to work harder. But the, the beginning of the, sex, uh, the success of sex was important. For me, it was nice to feel validated. I have to say, you work a long time until suddenly... But that's also a curse, too. That's what you also have to learn. You have to learn that when you get it, that's it. You got it for that moment. That that moment, it's feel it, it's for you. It doesn't mean anything past that, except that they get to say it and now we're talking about it. But when it finally won comedy, best comedy, that was it was it was right. Not necessarily thrilling as much as like, oh thank God, because we should get this. We were the in my opinion, we were a very, very well written show. And uh, a show that's certainly did stand the test of time. It's still playing. It was very special, very unique, very well written. So it felt good to have it.